Imagine a world where the fate of nations hinges on the availability of raw materials. These materials are not just any resources, they are the backbone of modern technology and industry. Picture a future where control over essential metals determines economic dominance and military might. The skyscrapers that define our cities, the vehicles that transport us, and the ships that carry goods across oceans all rely on these critical resources. This is not a scene from a science fiction novel. It's the reality we are facing as China tightens its grip on the global supply of critical metals. These metals are indispensable for the production of high-tech devices and advanced military equipment. Welcome, dear viewers, to a discussion about one of the most pressing geopolitical challenges of our time, China's metal monopoly. This issue is reshaping global trade dynamics and influencing international relations, just as the Great Wall once protected China from invaders today. Its control over resources like rare earth elements, lithium and cobalt, is creating a new kind of strategic advantage. These elements are crucial for the development of cutting-edge technologies. This is not just an abstract economic concern. The implications are far-reaching, affecting everything from national security to everyday consumer products. These metals are the building blocks of our modern world, essential for everything from smartphones and electric vehicles to wind turbines and fighter jets. Without them, the progress of technology and innovation would come to a standstill. In short, they are the lifeblood of the 21st century economy, and China is increasingly in control of the supply. This control gives China significant leverage in global affairs, influencing economic policies and strategic decisions worldwide. Let's go! Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. How did China come to dominate the global metal market? This question has intrigued economists, policymakers, and industry experts for years. The answer lies in a combination of factors, each playing a crucial role in shaping China's dominance. China possesses significant reserves of many critical minerals, coupled with decades of strategic investment in mining and processing. These investments have been meticulously planned and executed, ensuring a steady supply of raw materials. This foresight has given China a commanding lead in the production of metals like rare earth elements, where it controls over 60% of global output. Rare earth elements are essential for modern technologies, from smartphones to electric vehicles, making China's control even more significant. Furthermore, China's insatiable industrial appetite has made it the world's largest consumer of many metals, giving it significant leverage over global prices. This consumption is driven by its vast manufacturing sector, which produces everything from electronics to heavy machinery. This dominance has raised alarm bells in Western capitals, as governments and businesses alike wake up to the strategic implications of relying on a single country for such vital resources. The dependency on China for these critical materials has led to discussions on diversifying supply chains and investing in alternative sources. The situation is reminiscent of the oil crises of the 1970s, when OPEC's control over oil production sent shockwaves through the global economy. Just as the world had to adapt to the realities of oil dependency, it now faces a similar challenge with metals and minerals. The West's dependence on China for critical metals is a vulnerability that cannot be ignored. For too long, Western nations have outsourced their mining and processing industries, prioritizing short-term economic gains over long-term strategic considerations. This has left them exposed to potential supply disruptions, price manipulations, and even outright embargoes. The COVID-19 pandemic provided a stark reminder of the fragility of global supply chains as lockdowns and border closures led to shortages of essential goods, including medical equipment and electronics. Imagine a scenario where China decides to restrict exports of rare earth elements in the midst of a geopolitical dispute. The consequences for Western economies could be devastating, crippling industries ranging from renewable energy to defense. The potential for economic and political coercion is undeniable. The situation we face today is not just about economic competition, it's about a new kind of dependency. 
Just as the world was once dependent on the Middle East for oil, we are now increasingly reliant on China for the metals that power our technological future. This dependency gives China an enormous amount of leverage, allowing it to exert influence on a global scale. It's a leverage that China has shown it is not afraid to use, as evidenced by its trade disputes with Japan and the United States in recent years. The challenge for the West is to reduce this dependency without resorting to protectionism or sparking a new Cold War. It's a delicate balancing act that will require a combination of strategic thinking, international cooperation and technological innovation. Is strategic stockpiling a solution? One option being considered by many Western governments is the creation of strategic stockpiles of critical metals. The idea is to build up reserves that could be tapped into in the event of a supply disruption, providing a buffer against Chinese pressure. The United States, for example, has already started to replenish its national defense stockpile, which has been depleted in recent decades. While strategic stockpiling can provide a degree of security, it is not a long-term solution. Stockpiles are expensive to maintain and can only provide a temporary cushion. Moreover, they do not address the underlying issue of dependence on a single supplier. To truly secure their supply chains, Western nations need to look at Diversifying supply chains is easier said than done. China's dominance in the mining and processing of many critical metals is the result of decades of investment and strategic planning. Building alternative sources of supply will require significant investment and political will. It will also require Western nations to work together, pooling their resources and coordinating their efforts. The European Union, for example, has already taken steps to reduce its reliance on China for critical raw materials. But it cannot do it alone. International cooperation will be essential to develop new mines, processing facilities and transportation networks. This will require overcoming bureaucratic hurdles, streamlining regulations and fostering a more favorable investment climate. Innovation and recycling in addition to diversifying supply chains, the West must also focus on innovation and recycling. Developing new technologies that reduce or eliminate the need for critical metals is essential. For example, researchers are exploring the use of alternative materials in batteries and magnets, while others are working on improving the efficiency of existing technologies. Recycling also plays a crucial role in reducing reliance on China. Recovering valuable metals from end-of-life products can help to create a more circular economy, reducing the need to extract new resources. Governments can encourage recycling by implementing policies that incentivize the collection and processing of electronic waste. The importance of cooperation the challenge posed by China's metal monopoly is a global one that requires a global response. Western nations must engage with China not from a position of confrontation but from one of cooperation and mutual interest. China, too, has a stake in ensuring the stability of global supply chains. Disruptions to the flow of critical metals would harm its own economy, potentially leading to social unrest and political instability. Dialogue and cooperation can help to establish a more predictable and sustainable system for managing the trade of critical metals. This could involve establishing international standards for responsible mining practices, promoting transparency in supply chains, and resolving trade disputes through negotiation rather than tariffs. Is the West doomed in the face of China's metal monopoly? This question has been on the minds of many economists, policymakers, and business leaders. China's dominance in the metal industry has certainly raised concerns about the future of Western economies. The answer is not so simple. It's a complex issue that requires a nuanced understanding of global economics and geopolitics. While the challenge is significant, it is not insurmountable. Western nations have faced and overcome numerous challenges throughout history. The West still possesses considerable economic, technological and diplomatic clout. These strengths can be leveraged to counterbalance China's influence. By acting decisively and strategically, it can mitigate the risks posed by China's dominance and secure its access to the resources it needs to thrive in the 21st century. This requires a coordinated effort across multiple sectors including government, industry and academia. The key lies in recognizing the seriousness of the challenge and taking swift and coordinated action. Time is of the essence, and delays could exacerbate the situation. The future is not predetermined. It is a canvas waiting to be painted by the actions and decisions we make today. It is shaped by the choices we make today. Every decision, no matter how small, contributes to the larger picture. 
The West has a choice to make, either continue down a path of dependence or forge a new path toward resilience and self-reliance. This choice will determine the trajectory of its future. The time to choose is now. The decisions made in this critical moment will echo through the coming decades, shaping the world for future generations. Join the conversation. This is just the beginning of the conversation. What are your thoughts on China's metal monopoly? What strategies do you think Western nations should pursue to address this challenge? Share your insights, and let's continue this crucial discussion. In the comments below, let us know what other pressing global issues you'd like us to explore in future videos. Your perspectives are invaluable as we navigate the complexities of our interconnected world. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.